Good morning guys, welcome to He Sees Us All YouTube channel. This is going to be a really quick video, as quick as I can possibly do this. I'm making this video really as a recorded statement. I want to state that I am in no way suicidal and if something were to happen to me, I want this to be said and I want many people to have heard it. And if so, I was in some kind of, I don't know, horrible accident or something, I would probably question that as well. And now here's why I'm saying this. And I've been back and forth with myself about the why to all of this. Um, if you guys have been watching, you know I've had all kinds of trouble posting my video exposing these sadistic Peppa Pig videos that are being su suggested to children on the YouTube Kids app after watching a regular episode of Peppa Pig. Well, YouTube removed my video. Not the sick videos actually being discussed. YouTube removed my video under the guise that it, mine, my video, suggested self-harm. But again, the videos that I was trying to shine light upon and, you know, bring attention to, you know, the ones that were actually suggesting self-harm to children and being viewed by small children, mind you, by the millions, still exist on the platform, even after they too have been reported by many others. So here's the deal. I appealed their decision and in, I'd say under an hour, it was denied. I even tweeted this information to YouTube to which I got like a generic bot response, uh, but it was much later than the original tweet, what makes me wonder like, was it a bot, was it not a bot, I don't know. But now at this point, I still hadn't checked my email, right? I only knew my appeal was denied from checking within my actual channel itself. So I later then go to my email and I see this. There's an email for the denial for my appeal. It says, thank you for submitting your video appeal on YouTube. After further review of the content, we've determined that your video does violate our community guidelines and have upheld our original decision. We appreciate your understanding. Sincerely, the YouTube team. Now, what's worse is I got this email right before the denial email, and this email says, Members of the YouTube community have expressed concerns for your well-being. We care about you. Yeah, okay, YouTube. We encourage you to take advantage of the following resources, and they give me some number for some suicide hotlines. Now, I'm going to be really honest here. My very first initial feeling about all of this is that I was being threatened. Like, maybe I was being told to shut up. Now, if this was sent with a like by a bot along with the removal of the Peppa Pig video because as they stated, it violated self-harm policies, then why did I not receive this email along with the video removal? Um, you know, in the video removal email. And if it was a bot, then that leaves the question, did a human ever even review my video? Now here's where we run into a bigger problem. If a human did remove my video, then why are the originals that I was warning people about still up after being reported by many, many other people? And if it was a human review, why send me that email suggesting that I'm suicidal? If a human reviewed it, would they not have known that like I it was in no way suggesting that I was suicidal, that I was trying to warn people about these videos? Is this not to be taken then as a you better shut your mouth threat? Now here's the flip side. If this is all the work of bots, then a human never even reviewed my video in the first place. Like I said, the denial did come rather quickly. And that leaves the question, does YouTube even care about what's going on on their platform? Because it seems that they are a multi-billion dollar corporation who leaves all the actual work up to AI bots. What are the employees that work there actually being paid to do? Because everyone knows they're not paying their content creators well. I also wonder, is this being done just to usher in more censorship? Now, I have mixed feelings about the video's existence in the first place, period. Um, I don't think YouTube, the government, or anyone should be able to take away freedom of speech, but this isn't exactly a freedom of speech issue. And like I said before, I'm pretty sure it's illegal to, in some way, take a copywritten image and alter it like this. You can't just start a tortilla chip company and call it Doritos too. Now, if somehow these videos 
are completely legal to make, which I highly, highly doubt that they are, then there absolutely positively needs to be no new guidelines set for publishing of such videos. They should absolutely have parental blocks on them, and they absolutely need to stay out of an app that YouTube itself advertises is for kids. Why is everybody just turning their heads on this one? The kids whose brains are being warped and traumatized here by these sadistic trash videos are the same ones that will be your doctors when you're old the teachers of your grandchildren, and the leaders of your countries. Well, actually, that probably won't really make much of a difference, but, um, but seriously, people, this is really dark and demonic. And why it just continues and is now being labeled as a hoax when the proof is actually just a search bar away is the biggest question of them all. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to say it one more time. I would absolutely, positively, never ever kill myself. It goes against my faith and everything that I believe. I also would never hurt anyone else as I do my best to live as Jesus taught. Um, I'm far from perfect, but my mission on this earth is to save. It's to save, 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 save as many people and as many souls as I possibly can. As Sean from the SGT report once said about my channel name, I thought it was kind of cool. He sees us all as in he can save us all. Um, I actually meant he sees us all as in God sees us all all the time and nothing is hidden from his sight. But he can save us all certainly fits and is absolutely the message that I'm trying to send here. So please give this video a like because the more likes it gets, the more likely the very flawed algorithm will pick it up and suggest it to others. Also, leave me a comment and let me know what you guys think on all of this because I just, I think it's absolutely insane and I just keep going back and forth with myself on it. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. I love you guys. God bless each and every one of you and I hope that you guys join me in my next video. I'm probably only going to be using still images with narration for the next few months just to avoid any more strikes. I would really hate to lose this channel and I'm going to link my backup channel in the description box here. There's only one video there now but I think I'm going to start moving some of my favorite ones over there or maybe even just some of the older ones that are still relevant but no one's really seen. I don't know but I do know that I'm going to be adding some new content there at some point too as well um anyway sorry for the ramble in the end here uh like my mind gets off track sometimes give this video a like let me know what you think about all of this and go subscribe to my backup channel just in case they take this channel down you guys will know where to find me also you could follow me on twitter at he sees us all one thank you guys for being here with me through this and just to let you guys all know i will always always be a voice for the children whose voices don't seem to matter anymore today Again, God bless you, brothers and sisters. Stay strong in these dark, dark days ahead of us all. Full armor of God. We know it's needed now more than ever.